Right, so now that's done, let's take it out of the chuck. And hopefully, yeah, what we should have is a very nice six mil thread on the end of our handle. Now, I don't actually know if <laughs> this piece is gonna be long enough. This is all I've got left. I've got a 300 millimeter length of bar to make these handles and obviously I've used most of it on the other handles but um, hopefully this will be long enough. Um, so uh, right now what we need to do is determine how much thread we need on the other end for the ball. Okay now um, another really useful tool uh, is the old depth gauge. Now these um, these can cost you a lot of money um, but if you're prepared to go with second hand ones you can get some very nice ones on eBay for a relatively small amount of money. Um, this is a more right, uh, I think I'd probably about a fiver for it. Um, this one is um, metric and imperial, which is quite nice. And then this was my little pride and joy here. This one, this is a Starrett. Uh, and Starrett makes superb tools if you've seen uh, that any of the videos that uh, Mr. Pete does, uh, Tubal Cane, uh, then uh, you'll know that he's a big fan of Starrett and quite rightly so, they are superb. Um, uh, the Starrett one is just imperial, but we're gonna use the uh, more right one for this job because well it's uh, we i really want it in, uh, uh, in in metric for this so very simple <laughs> to do this you just stick that in the hole and um slide it up um so that's telling us that we've got about 12 mil let's go down 12 mil yeah nope i'm lying 22 mil right so well we don't want it to go all the way in so i i would have thought um 20 mil would be more than enough um thread depth so we'll set this to 20 mil and then we can uh, uh we will mark on the other end of our 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 metal rod there um where how deep we want the thread to go now first of all i need to work out whether that's going to be too long as it is but I don't think so. That's probably going to be about right once the ball's on there. I don't want this handle to be any longer. It's long enough, but it's just much nicer to use with the ball on the end of it. So yeah, so we'll go with this piece and um, I'll now um, uh, cut the thread on the other end. I'm going to do that off camera because you've already seen me do this end and it's exactly the same process. So, um, and then we'll come back when the handle's done. Okay, here's the other end, which I've just finished uh, threading and um, Let's see whether the old ball will fit on the end of it. Which one? Yes, lovely job. Let's come back up that. So <clears throat> there's our short, uh, short stubby handle ready to go on there. You can't see that. Ready to replace that one, like so, on there. So, uh, the handle's done, but we've still got to take this off. Um, now, there's a grub screw on here, which I've loosened off, and um, I've actually had this off already, but I will warn you, uh, it is pretty tight. Uh, to uh, there we go. So that's the uh, actual item. I did actually have to uh, persuade it gently with a copper hammer to get that to get that off initially. Um, and now what I'm going to do is we basically we'll take the handle off. Uh, I'm going to put this in a vise and just file a nice flat uh, on there so that the new handle will have something to bed down against properly. Uh, I'll do that off camera. Okay, well there you go, there's the uh, turret with the flat fold on it. Now you don't have to go mad when you file flat on it, just something that's uh, big enough for the um, for the handle when it screws on to tighten down onto, see? That's more than enough that there. So we'll slide this back on, do that first if I can line up where the grub screw goes, which is Might need a gentle tap. There we go. Right. Oh, 
we go. Now we can screw our uh, new handle into position. And there you go. Hopefully it will work. We'll just uh, come out a little bit. There we go. Much, much nicer than the um, than the original handle. Job done. So uh, you will uh, obviously <laughs> end up with quite a collection of these things. <laughs> At the end of the time, mate, no, I'm not going to throw them away. I might find some use for them. You never know. But uh, anyway, there you go. Um, that's uh, pretty much uh, all the handles done now. Um, the only thing I haven't done, uh, I've still got the compound slide here. I haven't really worked out what to do with these yet. Um, there we go. Still needs uh, needs something to, to replace these with, I think. But um, but no, all all the rest of them are done, which is the uh, which is the important thing. Um, and uh, so that's it. Uh, before we go, I'll have a quick talk about some tools now obviously I've been using um, a six mil die in a die holder uh, to, to cut these threads now um, over the years uh, working on model steam engines I've got quite a collection of old taps and dies but they're generally imperial so they're BA stuff like that um, so obviously since I got the lathe uh, all the threads on there are metric so I decided I ought to invest in a metric tap and die set and I opted for this which is an Erwin Hansen set American um, made in the USA actually believe it or not and what I will say is uh, it wasn't particularly expensive um, you know you have to spend a little bit of money if you want to get good quality tools uh, and the, the the dies and the taps in this I found to be absolutely excellent um, the die holder the certainly the small one has a tendency if you're not careful to come loose as it only has the one fixing screw um, but no other than that it's a it's a, a fully featured set um, you get a Large tap wrench and small tap wrench, thread gauge, um, very good selection of metric taps. Um, you get uh, all the stuff you could possibly want with regard to the dies, um, small and large die holder and everything. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a very nice set. Um, and I'll put a link to the description um, below uh, where you can get this. I think I got this from Amazon actually. Um, and also a link to where, on eBay to where you can get these, um, should you so wish. Um, okay, well that's it for this uh, little video about um, changing the handles on the Walco WM180. Um, hope you liked the video and thanks very much for watching.